Okay, here's my new location for my uh, charge controller. I've stuck it down lower. So this is the front of the trailer. This is the electrical compartment on the one side. And the battery is about four feet from it. So basically what I have is about a 25 foot run of 10 gauge coming from the solar array. So what I've got here, so there's their solar positive in, solar negative in. Then I've got some 8 gauge here. This is going to the battery. So there's a run, I think that's about 18 inches, 18 inches of uh, 8 gauge coming to the bus bar here. And then on the other side of the, the bus bar, it's 4 gauge running out to the battery. I think that's 4 or 5 feet. I haven't measured it there yet. And this here, this is 8 gauge, 8 gauge negative coming over to the bus bar. The other side of the bus bar is 4 gauge and it's got about an 18 inch run over to the shunt here. I've got an, here's the net, here's the uh, charge side of the shunt but I've got so many things hooked on there right now that I've just run an extra 2 watt cable just over behind out of camera view and I've just uh, attached my extra stuff there. Uh, I haven't hooked anything up yet, nothing's, uh, the fuse is all set to the battery, I don't have any fuses in it yet. I've still got a bit more wiring to do and if it's sunny tomorrow I should be able to run it through its, through its paces. Now I've also, I've got, what I did is I, uh, there's a little wall right back in here and I put a very, very heavy, stiff hinge and mounted the charge controller to it. So the thing is, I can have it up like this, I can access all the connections, but in actual use, this will be down like this. That's very stiff, that's not going to bounce anywhere. And also on the compartment here, I'm not sure if you can see it, there's going to be, there's about four or five inches of clearance up here. And also underneath, down here, that's a void right down there. That goes right down to the bottom of the trailer. So that should have cool air coming up from there. And I'll probably punch a couple of uh, ventilation holes, probably a couple in the top and maybe even a couple down lower too, just to get the air to go in and then to come up and then back out. So again, to access everything, I can just tilt it up like that. That's fairly stiff. In actual use, it'll be down like that. Uh, I may be able, to be able to devise a hook there for the bottom, just to hook the bottom so maybe it doesn't, so it's not bouncing up and down like that. That won't be much of a problem. And there's the battery temperature sensor just hooked up there for right now. I don't have any, I don't have any uh, strain release on anything here yet, but that'll all be done there tomorrow.